Good morning, everybody. I think I would sit in the room. I think you are working like Edie Carr and Cambrian. It is a matter how to define base for Cambrian. Fortunately, you have time. If you have a time, I think you go to see the fortune head section. So how the GCP defined, then you can use that definition to correlate your section in your continent. And I really want to listen what yesterday morning uh, the Atlantic gave a talk. Unfortunately, he didn't show his slides. The title of his, uh, his, his talk is 25 years success, a practical success. I am sorry to say this is not success because how a lot of problems there. So, and uh, if you want to say what is the problem, I'm not going to discuss this. You know, they have a paper there, not public at all, in the 2014. I do want to pay attention. The T pedium is something need to be reworked. I will just pay your pay attention on the Dr. Zelaha. He showed this long range of lepidians, I mean, trapeticonids, trace fossils, whether you need to systematic revision or you see all these fossils, how Idikara type of things, or the Cambrian observation, trapeticonids, it looks like. Anyway, I, I will not repeat this, you know. Because of this problem, and if you work in this interval, you have to find your own way to decide where is the base of Cambrian. And in 2016, uh, 16, uh, uh, 2006, uh, just after the Cambridge, I mean, Congress in Nanjing, I was Lauren and, uh, and uh, uh, Pan, Shanzhi and me have uh, drawn this kind of this chart to want, I mean, tie the, the Cambrian faunas with, I mean, chronospherography with chemospherography. And that time we, we named the base discretion, maybe it can be useful for defined base of, uh, of Cambrian. Anyway, but, but we don't know, actually, we, we don't know. Even we know that we want to see this as base of Cambrian. We don't know how to tie it to the t uh, t in the in the GSP section. And uh, actually, this, this is really practically useful. If you look at the, the articles, the publications, and in this level, a lot of people used age 541 or 42 as a base of Cambrian, or can use like, like one of a uh, base discussion as a base of Cambrian. So that actually, this is also can tie to some biological events. That this is like based on the South Armand sections done by Sam Byron and his colleagues. And uh, actually, the, 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 the base discussion is right above the extinction level of Claudinus and ID Cara type of I Shelley mean, fossils. And they have an age there right to find this discussion. So, very useful things, except the trace fossils. Chemotherapy and uh, geochronology, I think they are something else very useful. So I have mentioned these two things. One major thing is small shelly fossils. If you work in like Cambrian, if you see the Cam I mean, small shelly fossils, people think this should be like Cambrian. So that is very uh, distinctive uh, 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 term taxas, a taxon like uh, Anamaridis, Protozoa. So. If you find this, usually we, in China or a shallow platform face, usually we, we found these shelly fossils we put in the Cambrian. Anyway, another, I mean, if you don't have small shelly fossils, if you found some kind of organic world fossils like aquitox, this we could see these three these smaller spiny aquitox, you also can put in the, put in the Cambrian. This is. So, Today we're going to show you some more new information. How do we use these kind of uh, uh, tools to define base Cambrian in China and uh, Siberia, in South China, Siberia? Because these two areas, I mean, during the uh, 80s, I think, is a candidate section for the GSP of base Cambrian. One of the famous sections come from South China is the Meishu Twin section. And different from the 14 head sections, here the section is showing the three part. One part it should be the uh, latest current is carbonate fishes, and uh, then the top is usually black shell or, or organic rich sealstone, uh, 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 silicate rocks. In between is phosphate rich interval. In that interval, we have rich small shelly fossils there. Usually, we draw the base of Cambrian here, and uh, most of you, I think, have been these sections, and the sections are well protected. You see, you can go in to there. And another section is also, I mean, the Pasha already talked about. This is, I mean, Ardan River or Lena River. They have a nice section there. The section is different from South China, also 14 head. They have a lower part is 
north of Dollar Stone, then the upper part is limey, have a lot of fossils there. They draw the, the boundary here because have a lot of archaeosexes or shelly fossils there. Uh, this section is also extended last year, the official boundary for the base of Cambrian in Siberia. Let's quickly go through the, the, the Michigan section. Let me remind you what happens in the, the section in South China here in generally. And we have in this Michigan section, you have a, a three part. So they have the middle part of phosphate rich things have a lot of small shellies. You can easily to define, I mean, two assemblages there. And the list B and A is formally when we, uh, the subcommission want to define the base of Cambrian here or here. Anyway, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, for small shellies, easily. And another thing, this is exactly uniform faces have very successful trace fossil uh, 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 assemblage there. And you have very uh, so bifurcated branching trace fossils here at the base of phosphate unit. And you do have t in the in the upper part of lower phosphate as very typical pedium style uh, trace fossils. And going move above the upper phosphate, you have these arthropods uh, 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 related trace fossils like uh, Rusoficus and also stretch marks, and uh, that is really uh, very quite different from sequence below, and the face is, is really similar. So that's showing something trace fossils evolved as similar as fortune head sections. And uh, because of the measuring sections have, because of it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's not true, but can be because a GSP section, because they have a, a big gap there. And, uh, we, in, that, in the past uh, 20 years, uh, years, we are looking for some new sections in the Yunnan and going to northeast Yunnan that have better sections there. has more expanded, more thoracic, more complete sections. That is uh, 2007, I show you a program, one of the sections along the upstream Yangtze River, and uh, they have very nice exposure of the boundary interval sections there. And if you, now, if you go there, is the, the, the section is really flooded by big reservoir because the uh, second biggest dam in China is built just in the lower, I mean, the left side of sections. So the, 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 the river section is totally flooded, but fortunately they have a new road cut sections exactly to repeat the formal section, the boundary interval is well exposed there. They have a nice isotope data there. If you, if you look at this, this organic carbon isotopes, this is inorganic carbon isotopes. They have, if you look at this carbon isotope, it goes to this, uh, the lower part is a plateau. It's not so much variations, and the isotope gradually going down to the minus six to minus eight. That is, we define it as the base discretion. And because of the gradual changes of values, we think this section, in the, even the lithologically and geochemically, we think this is a more continuous section here. And uh, Misha Schleiner and, uh, and the Yang Ben and the uh, group have published something last year exactly near the base of this base excursion, we found some shelly fossils here. That is really something quite strange. You know, look at these fossils, you know, and I will give you that these fossils is supposed to be transitional between the Idikara and shelly fossils to the Cambrian small shelly fossils. And right at, at, the, at, the, at, the, at this level, so it's quite interesting. Not even in the in the Michigan, uh, in the Yunnan, and also in North Platform of South China and of Kazakhstan. So this is this is really quite inf informable information to let us understand this interval, well, how to define base Cambrian. Another thing that I talked about is we this is the aquitax, and uh, we want to also know if it's really this kind of aquitax. I mean to related Cambrian or how to tie to other, to, I mean, chronostratific tools like uh, isotopes, small shellies, and age, you know. We, use, we, we are looking for some best sections in South China. One of the sections in the Yangtze Guji area, we found this nice assemblage, but all the assemblage is the architects right within little apple of the base excursion and associated with small shelly fossils. And recently we found also similar things Below the small, I mean the phosphate, and the, let me let me below the small shelly fossils, and it is not yet published. So, and all this, these things here within the dunes uh, base excursion, not below the, that interval, but below the base. So, if you go back as a, this short time session as a reference, and here we can show very 
uh, successful uh, small shelly fossil assemblages here, one, two, three, here. And uh, then the, they have recently, we, uh, with our colleagues from, uh, from uh, Johan, he said, here we go in presently, some age things. We found really nice uh, two ages from these sections, short time sections. And uh, how precise, he was, Johan can pick more details of this. And if you, if you put other sections near in the northeastern Yunnan area, we found more ash layers have very good uh, I mean, dates here. I think you will go into present day things, you know. And uh, give this interval of north, uh, northeast Yunnan as a really good place to understand the procurement climate transition. And if you put the Western sections correlation as a base of uh, 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 integrated correlation, the pedium should be somewhere here, and the, the architects, earliest architects should be somewhere here. So let's, let's give us a kind of quite clear information from South China, these architects, pedium, or small shellies, is normally above the base discretion. And if we give an age, it should be younger than 539. So let's go back, go to the Siberia again, and what is partial or dependent. And the, in the Siberia, as a large platform, much, much bigger than South China, and the phases changes, also like South China, is dramatically. And they have, uh, okay. Traditionally, the Russian colleagues focus on the Lena and the Ardan River section as a stratotype section for the base of Cambrian, what is Pasha talked about that. And they usually they put the base of Cambrian here, and because of the pressure of the Arda and the Lena River, and the, the, the section below that level is not so much sections there. And also because they focus the base of Cambrian there, so not so much work below that interval. So we, normally we think this should be the base. We think the base should be in the this interval, also small shellies there, should be still in the, within the Cambrian. We, we should look more better sections below that level, should be best. And if you look at other publications and other areas outside the, the Ardan Lena River, you will see, I mean, the, the base excursions is everywhere. But if you see the base of all sections, the base never going down to the ED current. So we really don't know what happens in this level. So unfortunately, in the 2009, Andrei Tsuzavlev and his colleagues published one section from this area, Yuduma River area. And uh, interestingly, they found Idikara type fossils in this level. This is Yuduma group. This upper part is Ustri Yuduma carbonate. Looks like South China, like a Ding Yin formation. Anyway, they found the Claudina anomalies right in this, in the middle part of the carbonate interval. Quite interesting. So at the time, they didn't show the isotope data. We don't know whether this is belongs within the base or not the base. So we discussed with Android whether we can possibility have a chance to, to go to the look at the section there. We did. And uh, on the, because this area, this is a Maya River and Uduma River. This is, I mean, these sections we go into, we look at the sections, you know, the, the sections here is measured during the 1960s by Russian colleagues when we map in this area. The section is, it looks good and the, the, the whole winding system, the system is there. So we, were, we would like to try, try whether something there because the, the, the patches of that is also exposed somewhere on top of the sections. That's the sections. We visit the three sections. One is the Nochi Chalaha, one is the Kira Itiga sections, and they have, this is, a, in the, in the, this is really top of the, uh, the Yuduma group, there's a carbonate platform here, and this reddish color things, this is in the middle, this carbonate, they have uh, Itikara type fossils there. Today we're going to focus on the Kira Itiga section, there's more distal to the, to the, I mean, the sections, and uh, that is sections, and I show you, this is the middle, uh, 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 this below this carbonate, uh, dollar stone, this have a black carbonate, uh, uh, sex, uh, limestone there with shelly stuff, supposed to be the, also some problematic uh, Idikara fossils there. 
And because not a neighbor section, Nuchi Chalaha was a rich or purpose land, they have Idiria, Idihara fossils there. And then this, sec this sequence transition that goes to the shallow carbonate sequence, should be a sequence boundary right here, that is boundary we draw here. And uh, we found small shelly fossils here, and uh, this is the fossils what the Android reported 2009 or 11, and uh, with the uh, Idikara, uh, Cloud Dynes, and also the Adamarites is there. But uh, this time we didn't repeat these samples, but this according to original log, the samples come from here. And uh, when we were working the sections, we, we found really rich fossil sandwiches here in the company that is the dollar stone. These all the shelves is not phosphatized. I put not put in the acid to dissolve it, but some of these you can easily to determine that this is animal varieties, like the Cambrian tubulus, all these typical Cambrian sh shelly fossils there. When I was there sampling the ca carbon isotope there, I was wondering this should be the base excursion, and the isotope should here should be two minutes, okay? I mean, <laughs> Okay, then the, then the, 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 the old collection is showing a lot of rich fossil, uh, small shellies in this level. This level really is typical, uh, came in, uh, usually uh, a small shelly fossil one or second S72 have such kind of diverse shelly fossils there. Let me go back to the carbon isotope thing. <laughs> it's giving me a, a little, little surprise. These isotopes showing really nice uh, plateaus there. And uh, then they have below there, they have uh, the, these kind of with Idikara fossils, this interval has little variation of isotope values there. And uh, I think these sections more or less have similar interval as Idikara type fossil with black limestone, has, has Idikara fossils in the northeast Siberia platform. And uh, um, I think uh, Jay Kaufman, Tui Huan, and, uh, and uh, Dima groups published isotope data from this level, equivalent level, these level isotopes also is shift, I mean, quickly. It's not sometimes negative, sometimes positive. It's not that stable. We, we just have some interpretation there. And uh, if you compare these, uh, I mean, isotope plateau, it's easy to, to correlate this in the South China DNA formation in the, in the left, left side, and also in Nevada, what is, I mean, I mean uh, uh, Amy Smith published last year, and they have a nice plateau here. Then they, this is easily correlated, you know, there, the sections. And if you go to Namibia, similar isotope per two is also there. This is Richard, walk, uh, Richard has published that in 2015. At least per two is, is known a long time ago. And this is also repeated, but, I mean, most of sections. In this regard, we think this per two is belongs to the latest ED current. So in that, in, the, in that case, we think the Cambrian type jelly fossils move down to the, to the uppermost ET current. This is our conclusion, say, they, then they, they, it should be a transitional evolution of the I mean, skeletal fo animal fossil there. Then we think it should be a deep root for the Cambrian explosion of animals. I have one more slide, okay. And uh, if you put the Siberia section to the South China, we can have a such kind of, uh, I, mean, I mean, summary, I couldn't say the conclusion. So, the, the small shelly fossils, if you based on Siberia, the, the Cambrian type of small shelly fossils move down to this level, and uh, Claudinus, Idikara type of shelly fossils move up to the level, and uh, this makes these basic questions very distinctive things, and re bracket the whole things in this level. So let's give us really a big problem, how to define base of Cambrian, if you want, use another tool, otherwise, uh, to define the base is a problem. And anyway, we need more work to understand the base of Cambrian. If you, I just show you, know, it's, an, it's, it's not that bad walking the same area. And uh, it's green, I mean, there's a lot of uh, meat, I mean, green food there, I mean, fruit there, and sometimes a little dangerous. The water is currently very strong, and Andre is falling down. You know. I take questions. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.